checks for one! <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome to a new episode of uh, Salty McFog Fishing. Today we're going back to our Old Town Predator PDL and some of the modifications we've done to it thus far. So, up until today, I have used this trailer you see behind me to transport the Old Town Predator PDL. Now you guys that have it know it's a pretty heavy kayak, so putting it up on your roof rack is a big, bit of a deal, and uh, uh, depending on where you live, you know, the trailer can be an issue for getting like access to smaller parking areas and such. So I recently moved to Long Island, and this trailer has become a nuisance to getting into most places. So what I've done is I've gotten myself a bed extender, which you will see shortly, and we're going to show you guys how it loads into my truck and how much sticks out the back and how I feel about it thus far. I've had the bed extender for about, I'd say two months now, so had a bit of a uh, bit of experience with it so far. And uh, we're also going to touch on this little cart right behind me. Uh, up until uh, my last video, I've been using my own cart that I built previously. It was the PVC cart, and we're going to touch on that in a little bit as well. So uh, let's get this thing off the trailer, and I'll show you what it looks like getting onto the bed. And it'll be a brief uh, show of this cart, which I will do at the end of the video, uh, how I feel about this cart. This cart is the Bonolo kayak cart with the beach tires. I think it's about a hundred something dollars on Amazon. And um, it's got like, you know, metal structure, so it's going to be a little better than PVC. And um, the reason I did that was because I couldn't find Schedule 80 PVC to upgrade from the original PVC I used the cart for. So I uh, just kind of went with the cheap and easy, well, the easy option, not the cheap option. So thanks for watching, guys. Right, so here's the bed extender, and um, I just got this at Harbor Freight for, I think it was 60, 60 bucks. So you just stick it right into the hitch, and it's ready to go right from when you buy it. Um, I would suggest getting, you know, like a pool noodle or something to wrap around the tail of the extender so that your kayak is resting on something nice and soft. And uh, get a few reflectors, you know, something just to reassure that people know that you got the bed extender maybe at night or something like that. And yeah, let's get this kayak on there. And that's it. It's uh, pretty much as simple as that, and then you just gotta strap it down inside the truck, which I'll give you guys a better look at momentarily. All right, and as for straps, what I like to do is I have the two cleats on the mounting plates. I do one on each side, and then I have a strap on the tailgate extender, and I just kind of cinch it down that way, so I'll show you. First strap, and you wanna use these straps here. Um, just these nice easy fasten down straps just so you're not ratcheting down with ratchet straps because those will put a little more wear and tear on your kayak because they can put a lot of stress on it. So one there, one there. I like to get a decent tight down on those so it's not moving that ways, put a couple of half hitches in it or something, make sure that doesn't come undone, do the same here. And then for the tailgate here, you see I got this strap on the back, it's a bit messed, there we 
go. The way I have it is the stupid lock out of the way. The way I have it is I come behind the tailgate and then I come around and under. Same thing, around and under. So that way it's secured both sides. Now you just pull it up and over. Like so. And you tighten down on them as well. And same thing, I do a couple of doubled up half hitches here. Just make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Bang, bang. And uh, I have a bike lock just for security. So what I do is I run it through the stern there and then from the uh, tailgate extender. Not super secure, but it's, I guess that last step of security just to make sure it doesn't budge. So this strap keeps it from going up down. Those two keep it from going backwards and such. And that's more or less it. I have a Tundra, so I have a six and a half foot bed, which gives me a decent amount of playroom with the kayak. So you can see it sticks out. Oh, I'd say another six feet, something like that. And then for the, just a little flag, just so I don't get pulled over, or, you know, somebody can yell at me for whatever reason. Um, I could put two of those down. And then I haven't gotten them yet, but I'd like to get some uh, some stickers on the tailgate extender as well. And now from here, I have the cart I can just kind of fold up and toss in the back. And that's not going to go anywhere. You got the the strap keeping it from going left, right, and then it'll stay inside. Now you see I've got the pedal drive, the seat, and everything in here. Just because that's not going to go anywhere. The pedal drive's secured, the seat's secured, and the wind's not going to catch it. What I do is I, I'll show you. Bring this down, like so. And then I have a bungee on the seat. That way it doesn't go flying back up. So, that's it. That's the gist of it. I really enjoy this tailgate extender. It's done wonders. You can park a lot easier and it makes putting everything away a lot easier as well. And you don't have to deal with a trailer if you're uh, going through, you know, easy pass, pay that extra little axle toll and so forth. So overall, I would suggest doing it if you guys have the money, but you know, that's just me and how I function about things. So we're going to take this out show you the second half of the video which is going to be about that cart there Not the easiest thing, but it is what it is. Now with the cart, you want the stand facing that way. Or whatever. I don't know, it seems to work for me that way at least with the stand facing towards the, the bow of the kayak. And then I just pick it up like so when you have the PDL drive in the pedal drive you want the uh you want to lift the kayak up a little bit because it's gonna catch on the uh the tailgate i just set that on the cart like so let her ride down Secure it in a second here. Yeah, like that. Then what I'll do is I'll run a strap from here around the handle on both sides. I'll speed it up so you guys see the gist of it.
you're good to go. I don't, as a, all I do is just take them off. I leave the straps in the kayak. I haven't really left the uh, the cart in the kayak yet. Just because I don't have to, you know, I can bring it back to the truck. That was a short walk. But I'm sure you can bring it in the, the kayak. No problem. supposed to be light today. Then what I do is I just pick it up and that's it. You're ready to go. Wash the sand off the wheels. I don't know why I do that. That's that.